Hey guys, today we're going to be demoing our Shipgear solution connected with FedEx Ship Manager. Shipgear is a middleware solution that works between carrier supplied solutions such as FedEx Ship Manager, UPS World Ship, and Visha Professional for Post Office, and various ERP systems. Today we're going to be connecting to Sage 50. So I have FedEx Ship Manager running. Um, and Shipgear is actually running as well in the background, so you'll see it running in the tray. So all it really does here is it's going to be communicating back and forth between FedEx and Sage 50. I can put a question mark in the lookup field, and Shipgear will ask me if I want to look at all of my open invoices or by period. Um, I'm going to look at all of them and search them all. Um, with the Sage 50 integration, you do have um, the ability to um, ship against invoices, sales orders, or the customer list. So depending on what works best for you, typically the customer list is going to be used for samples or something of that nature, anything that does not have a document associated to it. So today let's ship against this last one here. Um, I can double click it and then ship here is going to retrieve the information from Sage 50, translate fields, and bring them up on screen. So um, in my recipient area here is going to be all the ship to information on this invoice. My ship via will be translated, um, or my service type here will be translated from the ship via inside of Sage 50. Declared value can also get um, populated. In this case, I have my declared value populated with invoice total. You can turn this um, feature off as well. My PO number is coming over as a reference field. I also have things like ship alert set up. So in this instance, I have um, my sales team being contacted of any exception. So if anything is um, going to happen to this package and it's not going to get there on time, they can be notified and be proactive. And then um, I also have a shipment notification email going out to the customer in this case. So all of these fields are being pulled in um, directly from your Sage 50 document. Yes, yeah, it's time to ship. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and process this shipment. Um, it's got one package, total 1022. When I click the ship button here, FedEx Ship Manager will generate the barcoded shipping label, and then Shipgear is going to update Sage 50 in real time, and I'll be ready for my next shipment. Let's go into Sage 50 and take a look at that invoice to see how it was updated. So I shipped against RVC1234. Search for that guy. Here it is. So here's my freight charges um, that were updated. Now this freight charge can also include a customizable handling fee. Shipgear does have an add-on module called Freight Rules. It allows you to define how and when the freight gets calculated and updated. Um, so you can have um, parameters on the calculation, and these parameters can be based on your Sage 50 fields. So for instance, if you wanted to provide free freight um, for any orders over 500, you could um, have Shipgear calculate that for you so you don't have to do that in the front end. Shipgear will also update the note field within Sage 50, so you'll have um, information on the shipment this is completely user definable as far as which fields you see here. Um, so that can all be set up within Shipgear. And that's how simple it is to process a ship shipment using Shipgear for FedEx Ship Manager. Um, I hope you found this informative. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, the sales team can be reached at 800 462 4016, option 4 or you can visit us at shipgear.com. Thanks, talk to you soon.